Hello, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I did a video a few weeks ago about Mrs Quilty's subscription box and I wanted to do a bit of a follow-up because it was only after I'd ordered this um, and received it that I looked at some other YouTube videos and there is an awful lot of videos out there that are that are bashing Mrs Quilter. The quality of the fabric, the instructions, um, you know, is it good value for money, all that all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd give my opinion as well. Um, but before you switch off and think you don't need to watch another video about Mrs Quilty, um, I also wanted to share with you um, a couple of the projects that I made from this because I think um, that that will explain my thoughts on this. And if you yourself are considering getting Mrs Quilty, it's a little bit more information for you. That I probably... Um, how should I wear this? If I'd have watched the YouTube videos on Mrs Quilty before I ordered, I would not have ordered. Though for every um, positive video, there was probably a hundred negative ones. Um, so I wanted to share with you, and my I'm not saying to go out and buy it, I'm not saying not to buy it, um, I'm just giving you my opinion on this. Um, but full disclaimer, I've cancelled it. I won't be ordering another Mrs Quilty box, but that doesn't mean um, I'm not satisfied with this box. I'm glad I got this box. I enjoyed it. Um, I think it was good value for money. Um, let me show you what I made. So this first of all is I made a block. Now I am new to quilting. I've done quilts before but just basic square quilts. I'm new to doing this kind of quilting and so for me that's why I'm glad I bought this box because it's introduced me to Geez, how difficult is it to do an actual quilt? I mean, you can see this is my first attempt um, and took longer than I thought, it was more difficult than I thought. It was absolutely um, an experience, but actually I also really, really enjoyed it. So um, for all of its flaws, this is my first ever little block make and um, for that, um, I absolutely love it. Um, now, Going through the instructions for the block, absolutely no problems whatsoever. Gave me the confidence. I thought, you know what, I am now going to try and I thought I'll do this little quilting placemat because this was obviously a lot more work um, and I still had a bit of time, um, a couple of hours left in my day and I thought this looks a lot quicker, but this is where it all went wrong. Let me show you and explain why. So you can see the, and by the way, the fabric that came in it, I think it's fine. It's absolutely fine for your beginning quilting. Um, you know, you're not going to make something from this that you're going to give away as a family heirloom or whatever. So I think um, having that fabric not as high quality allowed me to play around with this. Allowed me not to stress too much when I made my mistakes. This actually wasn't, this fabric wasn't part of the kit, but that was the purpose why I used it because this was some other fabric that was so cheap. I was like, where else am I going to use it? May as well use it here. Um, so that's why this isn't fabric from the quilt. This was another set that I got, um, another bundle, pre-cuts, um, that I thought it's too flimsy to use on anything else. So I'll use it here. But going back to this, so this fabric I did use, but look at the binding on it what an absolute shocker of a mess and you know what I do know how to bind I've done lots of binding but I wanted to follow the instructions because I'd seen so many videos that said the instructions are all wrong and when I followed this block and it was so straightforward I thought you know what maybe maybe it's just them but then I also thought so many people can't be wrong right so um, I followed it, but when we got to the binding instructions, now nah, it did not make sense. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna follow the instructions as they've said and see what happens. And as you can see, completely ruined it because up to that point, you know, I was I was feeling okay. I mean, yeah, these weren't lined up, um, made an absolute mess on this side with the stitching and whatnot. Um, but that's you know, none of these seams are nested. But that's okay, I was just playing around with it. But um, in fact, I probably will do another one of these, but not following the instructions. So I think when it comes to, when I was then thinking about doing this, I thought, no, nah, this is where I'm kind of, I'm not wasting my fabric, I'm not wasting my time. 
because um, at this point I'd kind of lost it with the instructions and lost confidence in it. So I'm glad I made um, this first because if I made this first, I would absolutely have agreed with all of the comments that the instructions were just dire, they were terrible. Um, but um, in terms of making the quilt block, it was a success for me. So because of that, I'm glad I ordered it. Um, definitely up to you and depending on your knowledge, I would say if you're a seasoned quilter, absolutely not. You, you wouldn't need these instructions, right? All you need is, is your pattern. You know how to do everything else. You just need to know how to, you know, this kind of thing is all you need. So, um, so each to their own, I guess. So I'm not bagging out Mrs. Quilty, but I'm also not singing their praises because there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, you know what? I think if they'd have done a video, a video instruction to go with it, I would probably it would probably sway me to buy another one and, and keep the subscription going um, and the only reason I say that is because as someone who's done training before I know people learn in different ways and not everyone can learn from a book not everyone can learn from a video some people need a combo of things um, so you know the the patterns that I sell on my Etsy store you get a link to a private video so yes you've got the PDF written instructions but you also have video showing me do it um, and I think the value in that is is far greater because you can't list. I know how difficult it is. You can't list full instructions in a book because people interpret the instructions in different ways. And maybe that's what I did with the binding. But I probably spent an hour just going through these instructions. You know, this first bit seemed fine. But when they asked me to turn the corner, I'm like, that's not how you turn a corner. Um, I got out my laptop. I started to to google more people who's made this um the mat the placemat with the binding seeing if i could find any mrs quilty binding instructions online and there was no nothing so you know what i'm just going to go with what they've told me to do and let's see what the outcome is so um and this is it so you know i'm glad that i didn't waste gorgeous fabric you know it's like wasting gorgeous patterned paper um it's a crime so so that is my uh, quick update from mrs quilted because i did do the unboxing i was very excited about it and i did say i would follow up and show you what i made so um for all of its faults you know lessons learned from everything right never use this kind of gingham pattern when you've got to be precise with these you know um accuracy is like everything isn't it with quilting and that's why I wanted to do it because I want to get back into gamut making a bit more as well and accuracy is everything with that so if you watch me for a while you know when I'm paper crafting I am just a, a dot and dab I do not do accuracy at all so um, this is what I love about sewing and it forces me to be a bit more accurate um, so so I hope you like to see my fails, successes and fails. Um, I thought I'd share them with you. Let me know if you do want to see any more sewing videos because I have started to do a lot more. I'm back into my cross stitching, I've started English paper piecing, I'm doing all that kind of stuff. So if you do want to see more sewing videos, I'm conscious I don't post a lot uh, of those, then please let me know and I'll I'll share my makes with you. Um, I, you know, whatever, whatever format that looks like. So thank you for watching. And if you've got any comments about the Mrs. Quilty um, subscription box, specifically the binding, definitely put it in the comments below and then not just myself, but everyone else who watches this can, can see your thoughts as well. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.